You're here with the Woo Ninjas, your trustworthy team of WordPress, e-learning, and WooCommerce experts. So many of us are drawn to actually selling digital products because there's zero manufacturing time, they get shipped instantly, and you can always iterate on them instantly if there's any bugs, issues, or you want to improve them. So selling digital products is a great way and a very popular way of making money online, but there are still some issues in the process of doing so. Many of you who do want to sell digital products, one of the best ways to do it is WooCommerce, a WordPress plugin. And remember, if you're selling a digital product on your WordPress admin using WooCommerce, sometimes the default option isn't always your best option because it leaves you vulnerable to people stealing your product, maybe rebranding it and reselling it for more or less. And that's what a lot of people who sell courses, digital product run into. And that can be a problem with scaling your business and keeping it unique and keeping your competitive advantage there. Some of you may not know actually how to sell a digital product or if WooCommerce even allows you to sell digital products. Well, they actually do. So here is the WooCommerce plugin. If you don't have that, make sure you go to plugins and just search WooCommerce and add it there. Uh, so WooCommerce plugin, we go down to products, we go to add new. Okay, so here's an example course I just threw in a description. And the next step would be to actually add a product. Um, so we would go down to downloadable. You put your price, say it was this amount. And if you want to do a sale, we have a $59 sale. There's a lot of different actions you can do within WooCommerce to actually take advantage of their sales platform. But let's just do a downloadable file. We can either link it to a downloadable URL or we can do the file directly. We can add a file right here and then we'll do the file. So I put the name in, we're going to add a file. Go to upload, open your file, and you can actually rename it. And if you want to add a caption or description, that's great too, but for this example, we're not. All right, so that's great. So the issue you do have to remember about this is that if anyone has this file, say I, I download this, say I buy this product and I have this URL right here, I can share it to any number of chat boards. Anyone else who actually has access to this link can then download your intellectual property, your course, your PDF file, your videos, whatever. So this isn't very secure and all it takes is one person to blast this on Twitter or any of their private groups to get many, many people downloading your product for free when you could be making money. So let's just add a description. This is where you add that. You can even add a couple pictures to show why it'd be a good sale. This is the big product description too. And then simply you just go to publish. So that is basically how you sell a digital product using WooCommerce. But now let's get into actually how to secure that digital product so that not everyone can just immediately download it if they share the link with all their friends. So the way that I just showed you redirect or direct download uh, is actually really not a great way of giving out your product after someone buys it. So we're gonna go into two really good methods. Uh, the first one is accelerate, redirect, and X send file. So what these are is you're actually going to have to go and check with your hosting provider to see that. So first you're going to have to verify with your hosting provider if they allow you to install and use the Accelerate uh, Redirect and Xsend file module actually on your server. This is a little bit more about it if you want to go check into it. Uh, you can look a bit, little bit more at nginx.com and this tells you a little bit more about the product. But what it is is a secure and you know, relatively fast way of actually being able to distribute your digital products. What's great about this is it's a little bit more technical. What this allows you is very big file size option and it is also pretty quick. Okay, and the other option right here is force downloads. And this is directly from the WooCommerce information pages. And what this actually uses, is it uses PHP, so it completely takes away the ability of people just sharing a link with all their friends on Discord or Twitter to download your file. And this is by using force download. The drawback with this is if you have a big file, say, you know, two hour movie at 1080p, uh, this can be a big issue with actually having that file download without interruptions, timeouts, 
or issues like that. So in summary, the three methods we have here are the redirect, just the easy default, they get a link, they can access the link, they can share the link, not the most secure. There's the accelerate redirect slash xsend file as we showed you right here. And then the other one is this forced download option. However, there is a little bit of an issue with larger files with forced downloads. Okay, so now let's go into some quick solutions. If you can only do the redirect only, which is kind of the default option, they get a link access to your product and you're worried about them sharing the link with other people. Well, what you can do is you go down to the product page, products, and you go down and select your product. This is uh, the sample product we have. Or Right here, it's called uh, WordPress PDF course on how to sell digital products. So it's an example file. We've already added our PDF file. You know, I set the price, but also you can do download limits. So if you want them to only download it once, maybe twice if they make a mistake, and then you can only get it for three days after they buy it, one day, or maybe even seven days, because you know, sometimes people buy products and they forget about it. And if you want to be strict, you do one day, and if they can't download, then they'll message you or support uh, to get the file. And you would say somewhere in the download processes, you have to download the product. Now you get one option to download the product or file, and that's it. Of course, they can use the product and share it other places, but this limits the ability for them to just share a link directly to your site for the product download. Also, do not forget to save your changes. Okay, we, we learned that one solution of how to actually set download limits and expiration of the link for the download. One of the other options is to go down and look at publish visibility, go to edit. Public means anyone can access it. So there's two options, there's password protected for that given page. So if it's the download page, you just have one simple password or it's private, meaning they would need the login to your actual WordPress site uh, because they've registered you know, an account, username and password to then actually get access to your product and the members only area. So they need to actually log in to get access to that. So if they were to share their link with another person, they would also need to share the username and password, which most people don't want to do. Okay, I've shown you some simple quick fixes from being able to change the visibility to actually being able to go over and change the number of times they download or the expiry date. But what are the third party solutions? So the first third party solution is actually being able to use AWS, so Amazon S3, for storage and sharing of your digital files that you're actually selling. And right now, you get five gigabytes for free on the free AWS tier, but the price goes up a little bit more. And as you can see, uh, it is pretty affordable because it's based just on the amount you use. Say if you're using Google Drive, they, they usually do it per 200 gigabytes is the smallest. Here, it's just if you have a one gigabyte file, it is two cents per month. If you have you know, a terabyte, multiply that by a thousand. So it's, it's pretty simple and straightforward pricing, which is nice. And they give you five gigabytes just to try it out. So that's a great solution and it's secure. And you can share through these actual signed URLs. And this will help protect your files and actually deliver these really large files you might have at a very high speed, one of the, the fastest out of any other provider. All right, let's not forget a plugin. And this is WooCommerce. Uh, this is a WooCommerce integration that restricts IP access to order page and product files, meaning you can choose for the person to have one IP that they can access the file from, two IPs or three IPs. And sometimes an IP typically means, you know, they could have, they could be browsing from their phone and then their home network. So, you know, two may be a good amount, but sometimes they're gonna share a file with many people. Every person accessing the file if they're sharing it is from a different IP. So this is a great way to have a very solid protection based on the IP address of the number of times that they can access from various IPs. So this is a great solution. And actually I think it's on sale right now and it's 69 for the year, 70 bucks for the year. Uh, so this is also a solid solution for making sure that, that your digital products aren't shared all across the internet when you just sell them one time. So moving on, we've addressed the actual fixes within the WordPress plugin. And then we've also gone into third party applications, but what about the next level higher? and that is actually copywriting your digital content. So first off, why would you go through the hassle of copywriting your content? Well, the short answer is if anyone does take access to your, 
to your content and starts to share it or do anything that's unlawful, you can actually ask a court to issue an injunction so the copyright infringer stops doing whatever you don't want them to do. Without a copyright, you really don't have any legal grounds to stop someone from doing whatever they want with your product. You do, but it's a lot more complicated, and a copyright is a very clear way to show that it's your ownership of the product or of the product, PDF, course, whatever you're selling that's digital. So this is a great process. Check out copyright, uh, copyright.gov, or you can actually talk to a lawyer more about actually making this happen. So in conclusion, even though it's really not possible to really guarantee your file safety 100%, uh, putting a little bit of effort into your WooCommerce digital download security can go really a long way. And if you actually need help optimizing your WordPress site, your WooCommerce site, or optimizing your download security, we're here to help. We're new Woo Ninjas. We've been here over seven years. We've helped hundreds of